What's up guys, I do myself here, and today I want to share with you guys how to hide applications on your iPhone without having to delete them. Of course, Apple allows you to hide certain applications, but there's still certain apps you can't hide. So I'm going to show you how to hide social networks without deleting them, without having to log out, in case you want to hide those and then come back and use them at a later time. So I'm also going to show you a little glitch and trick on how to hide certain apps that Apple doesn't allow you. This is going to be an update video because I've done a video very similar to this a few months back, but this is going to be the latest update so you guys can see that this new method now works on 10.3.2 which is the latest version of ios and of course that includes ios 10.3 above or below so the first thing you want to do is or the first thing i want to show you is i have the four usual uh, social networks the most popular ones we have instagram snapchat twitter and facebook so how do we hide these applications without having to delete them so you want to go into settings and inside of settings you want to go to the generals tab right here you want to scroll down and find restrictions and if you've never used restrictions before it's going to ask you to create a passcode if you've used it before of course just enter your passcode create a passcode or enter it and then scroll down to the third section of options here you'll see the applications tab and right here you have an age rating so each application does have an age rating so what you want to do is you want to disable the age rating so if i go back you'll see that most apps are gone except facebook for whatever reason facebook allows four-year-olds to uh use these apps but anyway goes back to restrictions here and I can also get rid of Facebook by simply uh, tapping on uh, don't allow applications so right here the restrictions allowed for rating right there it is all the apps are gone now if I want to bring them back of course all I have to do is go back into restriction and then just tap on the application section enable all apps and all the apps are back on my springboard now that saves all your login information all your data you don't have to re-log in or delete the application to re-download it you're simply hiding the application now what if you want to hide applications like messages an application like photos which apple doesn't allow you to well here's the trick this is a glitch not a feature so you want to go ahead and put three applications inside of a folder so i'm going to bring three apps from a different page and put them inside a folder just like that. I press the home button once, then I go back and remove all the apps out of the folder except the application that I want to delete. In this case, I'm going to use the messages application, okay? So let's say I want to delete messages. Now I have a messages inside of a folder by itself. What I want to do now is have a full page and a full doc. And you'll see that the application that I want to delete should be inside of a folder by itself. So all you have to do is bring the application out of the folder, bring it all the way down to the dock, release it, boom, and it disappears from the springboard. So now it is not visually viewable, so you can't really see it. You can still find it by going through Spotlight, but it does deter or keep someone from finding it right away. So it's a, it's a nice way to hide it. Now you have to respring your device or reboot your device in order for the application to come back. But if you don't want to reboot and save some time, just I'll swipe over to the left here, Spotlight, swipe down, hold with your finger, press the home button. If you see the keyboard pop up on the home screen, you did this right, just like that, swipe down, it's gonna respring your device. No jailbreak is gonna be required for none of this. And then you go back to your home screen and you should see the application come back. There it is. So just some quick tips on how to hide applications and also how to hide stock apps that Apple normally doesn't allow you to on the latest version of iOS 10.3 to 10.3.2 and above or below. There you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click that like button. Much more videos coming your way. Be sure to stay tuned. It's been iDevice Help and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.